friends welcome back to my channel this is month seven of my different gel journey and let me just tell you guys I've missed you like crazy I didn't realize how different it was gonna be not checking in every week with you guys so I've really missed you I have missed just sitting down and talking about my skincare journey so that is why I am super glad that it is finally time for me to film my month seven update first and foremost I just want to say that my nose is a little bit stuffy right now and that's because I've been struggling with a bit of a nasty cold the past couple of days but I'm starting to feel better so I thought I would just sit down and film for you guys so without further ado let's get right into my month seven update if you guys couldn't tell my skin is doing amazing. I have absolutely no base makeup on right now and there are no breakouts whatsoever. I don't even have any rashes on my skin, which is just crazy. If you are familiar with my different gel updates, then you will know that my skin has not been doing too great the past couple of months. I was getting these tiny um, like rashes and little bumps and little milia, but those are completely gone and I don't know what happened, but over this past month, my skin has just cleared completely and I have had zero breakouts. Like, it has been crazy. Well, that's a lie. I've had like one or two little pimples here or there, but there have been no like severe breakouts anywhere. I do want to say though, I think I figured out what was causing those rashes and surprisingly, I think it was the different cleanser and moisturizer. I stopped using these for around a week and the rash completely went away. They don't necessarily have the best ingredients in them despite the fact that they are the different brand. So I just, I stopped using them and I switched back to using my CeraVe cleanser. This is just the regular foaming, fla foaming facial cleanser. And I switched between my Kula cucumber moisturizer and my Caudalie moisturizer. And I have had zero problems since going back to my original previous skincare routine, which I do have a video of my updated skincare routine on my channel. I will leave a link to that down in the description below if you haven't checked it out already. I have begun washing my face with this little facial scrubber that I got in an Ipsy Glam bag. I believe it was my last Ipsy Glam bag. And it has been working super well for me. I do want to add that when I was getting those little rashes, I began applying Cortisone 10 in those areas on my face. A lot of you guys suggested that and I never thought to use it before. I do have really bad eczema on like my legs, especially this time of year. So I had some of this anyway, so I decided to give it a try on my face. So like right in this area right here and just kind of around my chin was where I was getting a lot of those little rashes, if you guys remember. And I started applying this whenever the rashes would pop up from the different cleanser and different moisturizer. And the rash completely went away. So I suggest using this just a tiny, tiny amount and you know, don't get it near your eyes or obviously too close to your mouth or anything like that, but it worked for me and it completely took away the itching and the redness and everything. So I would just do that before bed and leave it on overnight and I found that it was clearing up the rashes overnight. So I definitely, definitely suggest Cortisone 10. This is just the, the original Maximum Strength Cortisone 10 cream with aloe. Now I'd like to kind of move into what I've been doing extra for my skin. So I recently got this Kula Golden Organic BB Plus Cream in either my Birchbox or my Ipsy. I don't know, but I've been using this before applying my makeup and I don't know, I've kind of been using it as a primer. And you guys already know this, but I love the Kula products. This has been working very well with my skin as well. It, I feel like it works very well with sensitive skin because I do have very sensitive skin. And then on occasion, I will apply this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. It is just a very, very strong hydrating treatment. I'm sure you guys have heard of the Glam Glow products before. I actually really want to try the mud purifying mask as well. So I'm hoping to try that out relatively soon. Maybe I'll even make a video about it. 
I still want to make a video about how to remove blackheads because I do know of a few charcoal masks that really really work and I will be testing that out on my husband because he has a lot more a lot more blackheads on his nose so I think that will be good to show you guys what works best in extracting those but yeah I've just been applying this glam glow mask a couple times a week just to give me the extra hydration that my skin has been lacking lately I also do have a um, coffee scrub that is coming in the mail by um, Body Blends, and I will be making a video about that whenever it arrives in the mail, but I'm also going to be trying that out. It's a facial and body coffee scrub. I have tried coffee scrubs in the past, but I've never tried this before, so I'm pretty excited for that. I think that's pretty much it as far as like new products or like skincare routine stuff. So aside from all of that, I just want to add that I have been drinking a ridiculous amount of water lately. I have just been trying to cleanse my body and drinking a ton of fluids just to keep myself hydrated because by keeping yourself hydrated, you are keeping your skin hydrated, which will clear your skin, get rid of unnecessary breakouts and oils and everything like that. How could I forget, last but not least, before I move any farther, I do still apply my different gel. Duh, I don't know why I forgot to mention that. I'm still applying it around three to four times a week. I do not do it every single day. I do it every other or every other other day like I have been doing previously. It's just what works best for me. I suggest trying that out if you are experiencing a ton of rashes and breakouts because this does tend to be quite strong on the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin like I do. So I think applying it a few times a week tends to be better because it's not so harsh on the skin. So yeah, that is it as far as, you know, how my skin is doing, what I've been doing to keep up with it. And um, I just want to say that you guys have been reaching out to me, especially on Instagram, you know, DMing me and telling me that you really appreciate these videos and you are on this journey with me and that these videos are helping you continue your journey. And I just want to let you know that it means the absolute world to me. I don't even know how to express how much I appreciate you guys reaching out to me. It makes me feel like a million bucks. I am so glad that you guys feel that these videos are inspiring you to keep going with your skincare journey and that you can share your experiences with me because I will always listen. I am always here to talk about you know, the struggles that your skin is going through because I know it is a struggle and it is awful especially the first couple of months, it, it sucks. I'm gonna be point blank, it does suck. Your skin will break out and it's very stressful, but I just wanna let you know that in this community, there are a ton of people that are here to listen to your struggles because we're all going through the same struggles. And I just really think that this journey that we are all taking together, you know, with our skincare and applying different and everything, I think that it's, benefiting a lot of people including myself so i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for reaching out to me because it means the absolute world to me with that being said i just want to thank you for sticking with me on this journey in month seven already which is just crazy i'm really looking forward to the one year mark i know we're still far off from the one year mark but It'll just be absolutely nuts to me when we hit that one-year mark. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you were looking forward to it as much as I was looking forward to filming it. I think that these monthly updates are beneficial because I have a lot more to talk about as opposed to just week to week. So I'm going to continue doing them monthly like this. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know, and I will see you on my next video. Alright, bye guys.